take whatever time you need. Yes. I am sorry. She had me built to her exact. But I will see myself destroyed. It shall be done. Malady's face is drawn. She seems tired, somewhat subdued. She looks you over and squints. What's wrong with you? You seem happy. Well, well, well. And does the object of your affection feel the same about you? A smirk curls across her face. Good for you, darling. We could all use a little good news about now, couldn't we? What comes next will be... Well, it'll be up to you how it will be. I've had some time to think, and there's a few matters I want to discuss before we carry on. I doubt you've forgotten the death of Meister Siva. She swallows hard and closes her eyes for a moment, as though trying to dispel a dizzy spell. She and I had a deal, you see. A deal that's now quite obviously defunct. According to its terms, I was to help you ascend to divinity, and she was to help me with... another matter. The details aren't important now, it's just... Never mind. Another entangling alliance. But I won't be able to disentangle it on my own. There may come a time when I need to count on you as an ally. So, are we? Allies, that is. I'm glad to hear you say that. We do make quite the team, don't we? I found out where Dallas is heading. There's a great city not far from Driftwood, Arx by name. It's controlled by Magisters, so you'll have your work cut out for you. We have to find out what she's planning to do with the powers of the Seven. You'll need to find her and take back what she stole, and quickly, before she does something irreversible. Dallas, or any of the others for that matter, cannot be allowed to use the powers of the gods. She doesn't understand what must be done. She doesn't understand how to rule. Given the alternatives, I consider you our very best bet. It's quite simple, really. Chaos is a fact of life surer than any other. Power is one of the few structures that can cut a line through that chaos. If wielded well, that line will mean stability, order, a comfort against the unknowable, changing forces of chaos. If wielded poorly, the line will mean domination, terror, different from chaos, but no better. Dallas and the others like her, Alexander, the Mother Tree, the Prince of Shadows, they are little better than demons, really. They seek power at the expense of others, not to create stability, but to create servants. Look at my face, Godwoken. What do you see? I suppose we all see what we want to see. When I look in the mirror, I see balance. Balance between darkness and light, between good and evil. Whatever those categories mean. When the time comes for you to ascend, remember my face. Remember that despite any shortcomings you might have, if you can bring a semblance of balance to the world, you'll have done as good as the Seven did. And if you can be stronger than them, you'll do all the better. The Seven are gone. Slain by their Godwoken. Slain by you. You have the potential, the obligation even, to do better than they did. To create a better world than the world they made. I know what evil is, Godwoken. I've seen what chaos can do. It isn't how I picture Rivalon's future. You are my insurance against that. Now, there's little time to spare. We need to get you to Arx, find Dallas, take back what she stole. Shall we go? Very good. 
How lucky for you I'm on your side. I'm probably the only one masterful enough to transport an entire ship safely between the land of the dead and the land of the living. Captain Malady stands at the ready. After the briefest moment of respite, Malady brought the Godwoken to Arx to recover the divine powers Dallas had snatched away. But the half-demon's secret was taking its toll on her. Oh, oh, Lucian! Fools! The bus is going to ruin everything! Freeze! 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 Malady groans, her face twisting in pain. She falls to one knee, catching herself on her hands. She raises one hand and raises herself to her feet. Now, now, no need to fuss, I'll be fine. It's just that traveling between the realms isn't easy, you know? It takes something from my soul each time. But never you fear. I've pulled a clever trick out of my sleeve. The Lady Vengeance stands in two realms at once. A body here, a soul in the Hall of Echoes. You can still return at your leisure. At least I got us where we wanted to go. This is Arx. This is where Dallas has bled with the powers of the gods. This is where the path to divinity leads. Your guess is as good as mine for once. If it were me, I'd start with the Divine Order in the city. Last I heard, there were plenty of Magister within the city walls. If their beloved leader is among them, they'll likely have heard about it. Dallas must be stopped. She has stolen the powers of the Seven. You need to get the Aetirin back if you're to fight the God King. You need it if you're to ascend. Track her in Arx. Find out where she's gone and end her. Take back the Atiran and the powers of the gods with it. You cannot fail, Godwoken. Not for anything. Hey, Chief, before we get a move on, I'd like a word with Malady. You mind? Psst. Hey, Mals. I'm not, you know, feeling so hot. I should think not. The demon is getting closer to himself. You'll meet him in Ark soon enough, and if you meet him like this, it's bye-bye Losa. Um... We won't let that happen, will we? I've got a little something cooking. There's power in names, after all. And we know exactly who a drama leak is. Don't worry. I'll find you before it's too late. Demon's honor. Oh, Quercus. She might have been a butchered. Tree, but she still made a noble home. And now our nest is gone. We cannot hide in their barren hall of echoes. We cannot idly wait for fate to take us. There's only one thing left to do. Solora looks up to you, then back to Quercus. His whiskers twitch. We must fight! Onward, Quercus! Onward, shield! Until the great acorn drops, there's still hope! Ho! Gareth massages his forehead and grunts. Ugh. Why does everything have to go to absolute shite? Glad to see you're still kicking, at least. Though I should warn you, Arx kicks back. Gareth scans the wreckage and whistles. The Lady Vengeance is well and truly ruined. Mm. 
Not good, no. But not catastrophic either. Gareth stretches out an arm in front of him and takes inventory of every scrape, cut and bruise. Godwoken, it may be Lucian's day, but Arx will give you little cause to celebrate. I must stay here, but I can give you this. Through it, Lucian may still protect you. Old habits, my friend. I pursued my guiding star. I had no idea it would lead me so astray. But it's still the only star I knew to follow in the darkness. Yet perhaps, perhaps I've found another. Gareth smiles at you. You see in him something he's lacked of late. Hope. I'll do what I do best. Hold things together. Those that remain still need a chief, so I'll attend to whatever needs attending to. I have no more surprises up my sleeve. I dare say you've had enough. It's a city at a crossroads. Volumes could be written about a single conflict. Yet Arx endures an infinitude at once. It's from Arx that the Divine Order operates, so to speak. Though you'll find its operations are as scattered as dandelion seeds in a cyclone. With both factions at odds, sorcery is not a pervading concern. Do not, however, assume that every paladin offers safe haven. The enemy of your enemy is not always a friend. Were I wearing your boots, I'd seek out Ahu, the Lord Protector, and the Keeper of Lucian's Crypt. He is a wise one and may offer you help. Ahu was, is, Lucian's greatest asset, a great wizard and clever as a cat. He protects Lucian's remains deep within the Arx Cathedral, and I can think of no one better suited for it. He's a man of many talents, not the least of which is... knowing. Ahu spots details that elude even the savviest of spies. If the hammer has fallen in Arx, he'll have taken notice. Gareth grasps your shoulder as you turn to go. You've done much for me. It's a miracle I even stand here now, frankly. You've got more miracles in you, Prince. With you, what was impossible seems possible again. I'm growing soft, aren't I? Growing soft, aren't I? of those on my sleeve.
Don't have many more of those on my sleeve. These Godwoken are going to be the death of me. Mm, don't have many more of those on my sleeve. The statue reaches toward the sky, as though preparing to take flight. The bottom drops out from within you. She lifts you up, up, up. Fighters for hire, experts in blades, bows, and bewitchment. Oh, I see you have a full contingent already. Then I'll leave you be. You're lucky that I enjoy a bumpy ride, my dear. Our arrival here was vigorous, even for my tastes. I'm still eternally grateful for all you've done for me, of course. In fact, here, take this. I suspect you'll find use for it soon enough. Oh, hush now. I gave you my word, didn't I? This place? No. Arx is clocked with divine order lackeys, from what I understand. It's not the sort of town where a girl like me could let her hair down, unfortunately. Quite a landing. I should know better by now than to think we're safe. I was stationed here for a short time. There was a strong magister presence back then. The large barracks. The jail. The whites were based there too, but their dealings were a mystery to me. I heard a rumour once that they had secret chambers built into the foundations of the barracks. But you could hear whispers in the walls at night. But I never saw or heard anything myself. A glazed look passes over Mihaili's eyes. He smiles benignly. Enthrall me? Whatever do you mean? Almira is my true love. I've known that since the moment I met her. I'm eternally grateful to be at her side. I'm glad to have met you, my friend. You let me taste freedom, and now my journey is at an end. Go. Meet your destiny.
Hurry along now. You'll need to find Dallas before it's too late. That's for you to discover. Arx is rife with Divine Order grunts, though. If she's among them, they'll know where to look. Take care of yourself, Godwoken. I may not always be there to do it for you. Not the finest of landings, though I suppose our dear vessel did well enough, given it's not exactly in its natural habitat. At least I can still access all of my tools in the Hall of Echoes. I wouldn't relish the prospect of scouring through all this wreckage to find what I need. Why work, of course? Anathema won't restore itself, I dare say. I shall finish what I started, aboard whatever remains of the Lady Vengeance in the Hall of Echoes. Come and find me later in the Hall of Ed. God woke and are going to be the death of me.
growing soft, aren't I? The big acorn has come. The prophecy has been fulfilled. Did you feel its power as it fell from the sky? Quackers, Quackers, do you think they recognized us? No, no. Did you hear? The big acorn has come, and it's chosen our forest. We are the chosen ones. Acorn in me. Crawls for me, Worm. Lucian the Divine standing guard over Arcs. He's been slacking off by the look of things. There, at the harbor. Crack. If it keeps showing up uninvited, it'll never make friends. Why must you crowd our woods? Go be with your own kind.
you see the crash? The ship? Are there void woken? Thank the gods. There are void woken within the city. I fear they are outside it too. But it seems Lucian's spirit watches over us. We are spared. For now, do as we do. Stay far away from Arx until the trouble's clear. A prayer from a pilgrim. Mighty Lucian, grant me wealth. I come for prayer and penitence. Instead, I find waste. Do you see anything? Please tell me if you see Voidwoken. They overrun the city already. Do you see anything? Only fog. Do you see anything? Only fog. A spillage all over the floor. Do you see anything? I'm not picking that up. Only well, I could fog. try moving it. Do you see anything? Only fog. Careful now, that's a trap. Careful now, that's a trap.
you see anything? Only fog. Pilgrims. Probably here for Lucian's day. Me too. Do you see anything? Only fog. It's a future path ahead, friends. Best stock up. Another card? No, I'm holding. Me too. Do you see anything? Only fog. The woman's upper lip twitches, and her chest heaves with each god's fearing utterance to the heavens. Another card? Only fog. No, I'm Lucian, I pray thee absolve my sins and find me worthy. The time of reckoning is upon us. The hall awaits only the chosen. May the death fog cleanse me as it cleanses the land and waters. She shoots you a frenzied glance. He has told me his plan, Lizard. Lucian will not wash our sins away with water or fire, but with death fog. The true faithful will bathe in the fog of their own accord, and he will reward them with eternal bliss. It spreads even now, just below. I am ready to prove my loyalty. She trails off, and her eyes flit upwards, as if listening to a voice only she can hear. Me too. Do you see anything? Should I... should I get closer? Another card? Keep strong. I came all the way from Driftwood, but I never expected to get stuck like this. Excuse me, have you word from the city? I heard the paladins inside have overthrown the Magisters. How can that be? And if it is, who's in charge of Fort Joy? My... my brother's just been sent there. I don't understand it. There's a prison here in Arx. Why send him so far away? I just need to plead his case. To Dallas herself, if I'm able. Or to whoever's in charge now. He's a sweet lad. He doesn't belong there. But I'll sort it out, that's for certain. I don't know. Maybe the Paladins have finally had enough of this clampdown. The Magisters will just go and lock up anybody. That wasn't Lucian's way, was it? Another card? No, I'm holding. Me too. Jehan strokes his chin as he surveys the Pilgrim camp. He notices you approach turns and smiles his stern smile. Lucian will preserve you. Another card? No, I'm holding. Me too. I feel awful. I pledge you. Hopefully heart. Lucian will grant me his blessing. A bit of a choppy re-entry, wasn't it? Sorry I couldn't be there to greet you, but time is limited. The doctor will know of the crash soon enough. I need to learn as much as I can, as quickly as I can. He swings a backpack over his shoulder. It's filled to the brim with potions, grenades and magical charms. Sadly, these pilgrims have no useful news. So, off to the city I go. Time to rid it of its demon. Perhaps. But I'm determined to press ahead. I've my own battles to wage. 
And you... Well, you have yours, don't you? Divinity eludes you still. But I've the feeling it won't delude you much longer. Think about what it means to become a god. Prove worthy of it. Do good. A firm handshake, and he's off. So the hunt commences once more. No, I'm holding. May the seven be on our side. Ah, hello. Please, if you're in need of supplies, now's the time to stock up. There's no telling where you'll find another trader, such as things are. You'll have to forgive my limited stock. The incident in the harbor was... Well, I was lucky to escape with my life, much less anything to sell. Void woken. I was taking inventory of the stock I brought to sell in Arcs when the harbor was suddenly overrun. It was horrible. Though I did see one little girl all by herself just beyond the harbor. Poor thing. She was too far off for me to help. She's surely dead by now. I hope it she was human. Light skin and fair hair, with a blue flower tucked behind one ear. But her eyes. I didn't know humans could have such dark eyes. They seemed almost pure black. A trick of the light, perhaps. And it wasn't the time to linger for another look. A pleasure doing business. Even now. Another card? No, I'm holding. Me too. I feel awful. Hopefully Lucian will grant me his blessing. Keep strong. Lucian will preserve you. Another card? I pledge my no, soul I'm holding. to Lucian. Me too. Please return. I feel awful. Hopefully Lucian will grant me his blessing. Keep strong. Lucian will preserve you. Another card? No, I'm holding. Me too. I pledge my heart. Oh, Lucian, please return. I feel awful. Hopefully Lucian will grant me his blessing. Another card? Keep strong. No, Lucian will preserve you. Me too. The statue reaches toward the sky, as though preparing to take flight. The bottom drops out from within you. She lifts you up, up, up. Me too. I feel awful. Hopefully Lucian will grant me his blessing. Keep strong. Lucian will preserve you. Dangerous path ahead, friends. I must have Best to stock up. breathed in some of that death fog. Oh, my lungs ache, and I can't see straight. I feel awful. Hopefully, Lucian will grant me his blessing. You're all right, stranger. Goods for sale here. Any takers? I heard a huge crash in the mountains earlier. Maybe thunder, maybe void woken. Don't go wandering alone now. There's no telling what you'll find.
she shoots you a questioning look, but resignation quickly wipes her face clean of curiosity. I won't ask. Long as it weren't a void woken, that's all I need to know. Well, settle in then. No point heading into the city. Gates are closed. Void woken. In the city. I never thought I'd see the day. Lucian's day. Got a few prayers of my own that need answering. But these days, who don't? Whites? Sure. Just before they locked the city gates. They say Dallas herself is inside the city walls. But I hear there's something up, too. Trouble between them and the Paladins. Of course, once the Void Woken landed, that were the only thing on anyone's lips. Hmm? You come to the city, I suppose. Like the rest of us. Hopefully Lucian will grant me his... Whatever your purpose in Arcs, you may be disappointed. I want to visit Lucian's shrine to find answers. But perhaps it is a fool's errand. I do not expect to hear his voice. But I meditate. I look upon his disciples. I take in his resting place. Perhaps the answers come. Peace, too. And perhaps not. This is the chance I take. Word comes that access is forbidden. There is fighting. I hear magisters in white fighting the paladins. And... I hear a void woken. I'm the last merchant to inside the city gates. Get what you need or you'll regret it. I pledge my life, O oh Lucian. Please return. I feel awful. I can't believe that I made it all the way here just to get locked out of Arks. Never missed a Lucian's day in my life. Until now. You'll see why I'm sore. If you get to hear the endless prayer at the cathedral. I pledge my heart. Oh, Lucian, please return. I feel awful. Hopefully Lucian will grant me his blessing. Keep strong. Lucian will preserve you. Have you seen what happened at the harbor? Void woke and destroyed the whole place. Lucian, preserve us. As a matter of fact, yes. Dallas was quite lucky to escape the Void Woken. It destroyed her ship, but the Hammer herself made it into the city all right.
boring. Someone left a prayer here. Oh, Lucian, bless my sickly child. The man's pointing finger shakes with both fright and giddiness. Isn't it something? Void Woken might tear me apart any minute, but at least I'd die a happy man. Besides, I'm not too worried. That thing probably eats Void Woken for breakfast. You've met that troll before? Boy, am I jealous! Maybe I should just, you know, go over there and talk to it. He inches his foot forward, frowns, then pulls it back. Maybe later. Oh, I know everything there is to know about them. I've read Tears for Troll at least 18 times. For instance, did you know that the term troll behavior refers to the way trolls live their lives, from killing and feeding to... to roaring and courtship rituals? But that's not my favorite part, <clears throat> and I quote. Death fog kills most living things instantly, but trolls may actually develop immunity with mild, prolonged exposure. If you encounter such a beast, they may be harmed only when a curse is applied to the appropriate attack method. That's pretty great, if you ask me. With all this death fog floating around, that troll might someday end up being the last living creature out here. Cuckoo. I hope you've been practicing that little trick I taught you. I have to say, I thought life would be so great as soon as Marg was dead. But now life seems empty. I have nothing left to fight against. It's so lonely. You can't be for real, Cuckoo. You're like a babe in the woods. Purpose? Helping others? <laughs> Give me a break. He bursts out laughing, and his guffaws shake the bridge. 
<laughs> I might be lonely, but I'd prefer to be alone than chitter-chatter with the likes of you. So, you want to cross or what? I mean, look at this wreck. It's not even a bridge. It's just some void damned trees that fell across the river. Trees. Trees! He kicks the edge of the makeshift bridge, sending a sizable chunk of earth flying perilously close to your eye. These days, everything is in decline. Especially my mood. For such a bridge, only one toll is acceptable. Blood! might have been my only chance. I might never get another chance to see one. Well, it's sad, but I don't blame you. It's like Harlan B. says in Tea is for Troll. Trolls are typically omnivorous, but many are known to develop a taste for humanoid flesh. Back to the books, I suppose.
to Paradise Downs and Driftwood, to Arks. There's no hope of going back that way. 